The production of my final film for Film 100 class in the fall quarter was quite an interesting one, filled with lots of gaffer's tape, moving car shots, and waiting on the weather. But it had all finally paid off as I had finished a very solid rough cut of the short film and was able to leave that final class critique feeling relieved and humbled by my classmates' positive feedback. I stepped back in hopes of returning to the timeline with fresh eyes and a relaxed mind so that I could apply the finishing touches. I woke up early that next morning and realized that 90% of the short film was still completely without sound. I mean, dead silent. I didn't realize how much I actually had left to do, and I now had less than 12 hours to somehow fill in all this sound for this 12 minute short film before the class premiere. I had to record all this fully, find music, I panicked, what was I gonna do? I scrambled to grab the microphone, whipped out the audio recorder, and fumbled for the batteries in the drawer upstairs. I vigorously watched, studied, examined, and analyzed the playback of each scene and tried my best to recreate the sounds to accurately match the footage. I was at the mercy of each pen stroke, every footstep, the friction of fabric, and every phone buzz. I needed some more help to record the rest of these sounds. So I telephoned my friend Brendan, asking him to come help as a sound recordist. He graciously came to my assistance and we spent the next hour getting sounds of the car racing down the street, the car pulling into the driveway, the engine revving, a car door slamming, and footsteps running on the asphalt. We finished all the sound recording. The work was over. False. Now I had to finish the sound editing and mixing. I quickly rushed through the editing, dragging clip after clip, adding low-pass filters, music, layering, and to my surprise, it was actually coming together nicely. But I had no time to waste. I worked all the way up to the start of film class. My eyes never left the screen. And as I waited for the film to export, I realized that despite the panic and impending doom, my best work is often done under pressure when I'm working at the speed of sound.